into courageous Cunningham run to the relentless pursuit of Reggie White. Like Dick Vermeer, these eagles come to work. These are the eagles. In the capital city, there have been many roads to greatness. From the versatile slinging Sammy Ball, to Joe Gibbs and his diverse dynasty, to push the battle. Opening week always gives off a special feeling, so there's no question everybody's excited for this game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Redskins here at FedEx Field. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. And, Phil, it's the start of a whole new season. There's a sense of renewal in the air and all kinds of hope. And how do you feel about getting this season underway? Ah, uh, Jim, this is like Christmas, man. I go down there, I open up a present. I have no idea what's inside that box. And that's what the coaches are thinking. They're not sure about their football team. They don't know. But they're going to get some of those answers here today. And whatever happens, don't judge your whole season. I realize it's just one game. Make the corrections and move on. Pleased to bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Danielle Bellini, with the report from the sidelines. Thanks, guys. It's great to be here for another new season. And there's an excitement in the air today. Guys, we've got two teams looking to start week one off on the right foot. Speaking with players and coaches, there was sort of a relief that game time was finally here. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Danielle. What is going on, people? Welcome, Madden 25. This is my connected careers with my mobile quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, I really like that intro. I don't know if they had that. I didn't play this game for current gen. This is on the PS4. I don't know if they had the intro like they did uh, that I showed just before this game. That was pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> like I said, I didn't play for the Xbox 360 or the PS3, so I don't know if that was included on that one, but... I thought it was pretty darn awesome, so I thought I'd include it in there. But this is my connected careers. Um, Paul Crew for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. I am a mobile quarterback. And uh, this is the first game of the season, game number one, going against our conference rivals, the Redskins. And uh, hoping to get off to a good start. And I have a fantastic run right there. And score a touchdown on our opening drive, which was awesome. Um, this is what I got to do. To be successful in this league right now is uh, use my feet and start doing some more of those read option type plays. That's really what my bread and butter is. And then from the read option, start doing some play action passing. And that's that's really going to be my successful uh, way of playing this game as this quarterback. Unfortunately, I get out of that um, pretty quickly, as you can see there, thrown to a deep out receiver. My guy just does not have the arm strength to make those kind of throws. I should have checked it off right there to the running back and the guy, you know, give us some positive yards. But this was a good lesson for me that uh, my guy is just not capable of making some of those throws right now. Um, being a mobile quarterback, when you start off in this game, you really don't have the greatest passing attributes. Uh, your accuracy, your arm strength and that stuff. Is not all that great so I need to play to my strengths play these dink and dunk type passes slants um, throwing to the running back uh, screen passes play action passes um, mo you know run the ball a little bit more you know pick more running plays for the running back also pick more running plays for myself with uh, read options uh, quarterback draws or do deep passes, but uh, instead of passing it, just run the ball. Things like that. That's really going to be my bread and butter right now until I can start uh, getting enough training points that I can start increasing my guy's accuracy, increasing my guy's arm strength so I can start making some of those down the field throws, some of those out patterns, some of those post patterns where you have to really get the ball in there. Uh, not only quick, but very accurate. And right now, my guy's just not capable of making those throws. This was the first game of the season, so I was trying to make those throws like I'm uh, 
John Elway or something, but it just doesn't work. Um, this is not how my guy is built. So definitely a good lesson for me in this first game. Um, like here, a deep throw, overthrow it. I just don't have the freaking accuracy right now. I don't have the arm strike, even though that got down the field. Um, it wasn't on target. And uh, here, just make a bad decision on that throw. Uh, I get picked off again. That's my second interception. And uh, when it rains, it pours because it's raining right now. Uh, there was a great catch by that receiver. Um, but you can see there, 150 yard, two yards passing and two interceptions. Not like Robert Griffin third's doing much anything. But I think he's playing more to his strengths. He's running the ball a little bit more. They're uh, running the, you know, he's running the ball more. They're running the ball more as a team. Um, not just going for all these passes. Not to mention it's freaking raining like crazy outside. I shouldn't be throwing the ball like that. There, something happened. Ball went like straight up in the air. Everybody had seven hours to come down with that thing. Again, I just not not making the right decisions um, and having a bad game plan going into this that I was going to be able to throw the ball down the field. Um, again, there, just a bad decision. That really wasn't even a bad throw. It was just a bad read. Uh, thought that guy was going to break inside. He just stood there, and it went right to his hands. <laughs> so definitely uh, got some things to work on in this, and I guarantee it's going to get better now that I've kind of realized, hey, I can't just throw the ball down the field every play. I need to uh, set up set up the pass with my running skills, and that's what we're going to do. But we end up getting beat here pretty badly. 24 to 7 and uh, that's gonna be the end of the game hopefully you guys enjoyed it we will um, be back soon with uh, hopefully a better game than this one I right, talk to you soon peace